Now, where to go? Ah, uh, Mom's always worried about me. Well then, ready to hit the books again, Gohan? That's what I like to hear. You should study up and surprise your father with your genius when he gets back. Yeah, sure thing. Hurry back, Dad. We miss you. Roughly a year and a half had passed since the fight with the dreadful Frieza. But there was still no sign of Goku returning to Earth. The world had entered a period of peace. That peace, however, was to be short-lived, as a new threat was rapidly approaching the planet. not to notice. There's no way we're gonna miss a massive energy reading like that. This can't be good. Do you really think it's Frieza? Well, sure seems like it. They'll know we're here if you don't quit your foolish babbling and lower your power levels. They have scouters after all. The Namekian's already lowered his. At least one of you is smart. Piccolo! They're here! Over there! It's Frieza. It's gotta be. I can't believe he's still alive. No, hold on. I think there's someone else with him. Do not fly there, got it? We can avoid scouter detection by simply walking up to them. You, you guys have actually fought against someone with this much power? You, you gotta be kidding me! What are we supposed to do once we get close to him? You'd rather stay back here and rot, is that it? Suit yourself. All of us know what we're up against. Just to be perfectly clear, Earth is completely done for. This... this can't be happening! going up against him again. Damn that Kakarot! Why didn't he finish that bastard off? How in the world did Frieza survive? First we'll move in. On foot, of course. Man. The closer we get, the heavier the air seems to get. We're almost at his ship. Are you sure you're ready for this? It, yes! So this is Earth. I've seen worse hunks of rock. It seems this Super Saiyan Goku you keep going on about is set to arrive here in three hours. So you intend to wait for him, Frieza? Why, of course, Father. But I want him to suffer for what he did to me, so I think I'll slaughter every last one of his beloved Earthlings. I couldn't care less about the Earthlings, but we do absolutely need to rid ourselves of that Super Saiyan. By any means necessary. Hmm. And what brings you here, Earthling? 
I'm here to kill you. The Mysterious Savior from the Future. What's that now? You're here to kill us, you say? Hm. Eliminate him. Sir! <laughs> Well now, it seems you've got some skill. Come at me with everything you've got. Unlike Goku, I won't take it easy on you. Goku? Oh, I see. So you're an ally of his. Never met the guy. Only know him by name. Oh dear. You do realize that killing my men puts you in grave danger, do you not? Now I have to kill you myself. You miscalculated. A miscalculation? Oh, I beg to differ. Wiping you and the rest of the filth from this planet would be child's play. That's not what I meant. You're about to find out what it's like to fight a real Super Saiyan. And I'm not talking about Goku. There's another one right here! Possible. Those two huge powers, they're both gone. What in the world is going on? <laughs> One way to find out. against right I'm gonna head over there and wait for Goku you're more than welcome to join me what? 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 how does he know about my dad he's gonna show up right over there if you're coming then follow me so what do we do Yeah, me too. I'm going to find out who this creep is. He 
doesn't seem like a bad guy. Um, so how do you know my dad? Well, I've only heard about him. I haven't had the privilege of actually meeting him yet. Oh, uh, really? So, hey, how do you know when Goku's coming back? Well, I'm, I'm afraid I can't tell you that. I'm sorry. So, can I ask, you were a Super Saiyan when you beat Frieza earlier, weren't you? How did you do that? Unfortunately, I can't tell you that either. Sorry. What's your name? Uh, that too. You can't even tell us your name? Well, what about your age? I'm 17. So you can tell us your age? But that's all I can tell you. I really am sorry. Hmm. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. You saved the Earth after all. It'll be another three hours before Goku gets here. So please, just hang tight a little bit longer. He should be here soon. you guys know I was gonna be here? This young man here clued us in. Who is he? Y you mean you don't know who this is at all? Nope, never seen him before. That reminds me, who took care of Frieza and the others? That was some crazy energy. We've got him to thank for that as well. He made quick work of them by becoming a Super Saiyan. A Super Saiyan? Goku, I need to speak with you, in private, if you don't mind. With me? Uh, yeah, sure. Hey, what's the big deal? You gonna keep us in the dark? Sorry, guys. Just hang tight for a bit, okay? I guess I'd better go talk to him. Okay, let's see what he has to say. I'm pretty sure they said he could turn into a Super Saiyan as well. I need to know something. Are you able to become a Super Saiyan at will? Yeah, I mean, I couldn't at first. But I can control it pretty good now. That's great. Now I have to ask, would you mind transforming for me now? You got it. <laughs> this good? So, what now? Now, I'll become a Super Saiyan 2. Whoa! And I'd like you to fight me. And I won't go easy. Fine by me.
If you only had arrived here earlier. But for some reason, I guess you could be. Well, I wouldn't say that. I know a little technique called instant transmission. Instant transmission? I, I might have just changed history for no reason then. Changed history? You're just as good as I'd heard. No, better even. Okay, I'll tell you everything. But please, it's important that you make sure not to tell anyone else what I'm about to tell you. Gotcha. Don't worry, talk away. Your secrets are safe with me. It might be difficult to believe what I'm about to say, but I've come here from 20 years into the future using a time machine. The the future? 20 years from now? My name is Trunks. I'm Vegeta's son. What? Vegeta's son? Actually, now that you mention it, you do kind of look like him. I'm gonna be born two and a half years from now. But that's not why I came here. There's something much more important I need to tell you. So please listen. Huh? Oh, right. Three years from now. On May 12th, at around 10 a.m., two incredibly powerful figures will appear on an island five and a half miles southwest from South City. Who are they? Are they aliens? No. They're androids. Created right here on Earth. They were created by a mad scientist from the former Red Ribbon Army named Dr. Giraud. The Red Ribbon Army? That's right. The same one you took down many years ago. Oh yeah, when I was just a little guy. I thought I got rid of those guys a while ago. Like back when I beat up their boss. Unfortunately, Dr. Giraud survived and continued his research. So, what's he after? World domination or something else crazy? I'm not entirely sure, but it's possible that was his end goal. But his androids were designed to be killing machines. And they eventually turned on their creator. Meaning, the androids were free to kill and destroy to their heart's content. It's been just me against the two of them. I struggled to make it out alive. Wait, uh, what happened to everybody else? They're gone. 20 years from now, I'm the only fighter left. In the fight, three years from now, my father over there, Krillin, Piccolo, everyone is killed. Only Gohan managed to make it out alive. He taught me how to fight four years before I came here in the time machine. As you know, with Piccolo gone, the Dragon Balls could no longer be used, meaning we couldn't bring anyone back once they were killed. The androids' unquenchable lust for bloodshed eventually turned the world into a nightmarish hellscape. They're too strong. Nothing can take them down. Hey, wait, hold up a sec. What about me? They didn't kill me too, did they? Even you couldn't join in the fight. Not too long from now, you'll fall prey to a severe heart virus. What? Well, this is a pickle. I'm guessing sensu beans won't work, huh? Man, this sucks on so many levels. I can't believe I'm gonna die in such a lame way. I really wanted to fight those guys. Yeah, you're disappointed you can't fight them? Aren't you scared? Well, yeah, I'm scared. But you said they're crazy strong, right? Of course I want to fight them. I see. You really are a true Saiyan warrior, aren't you? Here, when you start to see symptoms, take this. It's a medicine developed 20 years from now. It should keep you alive. Whoa, really? Awesome, thanks. Normally, history shouldn't be changed. But I've got to do whatever I can 
to prevent those atrocities from coming to pass. My mother always spoke very well of you. She knew you'd help us. That's what pushed her to complete the time machine. Wait, your mother? She knows who I am? Yes, she knows you well. Wait, you said she built a time machine. Isn't that right? And the only person I know who can do that is... No way! Your mom isn't... Yes, she's right over there. stuff you just told me, that's got to be the craziest! I thought she'd stick with Yamcha. To, to think she'd end up with Vegeta of all people, I mean, it just makes no sense. P uh, please, make sure not to tell anyone. I can't have people knowing who I really am. If you do, well, I uh, might never be born. Oh, yeah, right. Mum's the word. Well, I'd better get going back to my own time. I need to let my mother know how everything went here. Hey, are we gonna see you again? Making a round trip in the time machine requires a lot of energy, so it'll take some time. If I can survive until then, I'll definitely come back to lend my support three years from now. Stay alive! What a great new goal! Now I'm gonna start training extra hard for the next three years! Well, now I just gotta figure out what to tell everybody about this stuff. Hey, hey, Goku! We just saw that guy take off! Where did he go? Oh, uh, uh, him? Yeah, he, uh, I, I guess you could say he went back home. Went back home? So, just who is this guy? Uh, he, um, he, uh, well, he's... Hey. Isn't there something more important you should be telling us? Huh? If you can't find the words, then allow me to help you. What? You mean you heard? My sense of hearing is leagues above any of yours. Relax, all right? I won't say anything that could possibly endanger him. We're not going in unprepared. If we die, it won't be for lack of skill. Wait, die? What are you saying? On the hunt for the androids. Piccolo explained the situation, being careful to avoid revealing anything that could expose Trunks' identity. The others could do little to hide their shock at what he had to say. About the terrifying truth regarding the two androids that would appear three years from now. In order to prevent history from plunging into darkness, everyone made the decision to train for the upcoming fight against the androids. Androids, huh? Man, I never thought I'd hear anybody mention the Red Ribbon Army again. Was that young man really from the future? I'm just as shocked as all of you, but I actually think we can trust this guy. Kakarot! Spill it! How did you get off planet Namek alive? Right, we've been going crazy wondering what happened to you. Yeah, for a second or two, I thought I was done for. But then, right at the last second, I somehow managed to find a spaceship. That's right, the Ginyu forces. You took one of their ships. But when I jumped in and started to fly away, the spaceship took me to a planet called Yardrat. Those Ginyu goons had attacked Yardrat before, so they must have had that as the destination. So that explains the getup. I'm guessing that's what the Yardrats wear? Yep, they were all super friendly. They gave me these clothes since mine were torn up pretty bad. I find it extremely hard to believe that you came back from Yardrat empty-handed. Those freaks may be weak, but they have strange powers. You picked up some of them, right? <laughs> Bingo! I wanted to learn a lot more. 
but they really only had time to teach me one technique of theirs. It's called instant transmission. Huh? Instant, instant transmission? transmission? Yep, instant transmission. The weird thing is, is that you have to home in on the energy of a person, not a place. So you can't warp to a place unless you know someone there. <laughs> That's one heck of a downside, huh? That's not much of a downside, if you ask me. Well, I guess there's nothing you can't do now, huh? <laughs> all right. I guess we'll all see each other again three years from now. So, when and where should we meet? The androids will arrive May 12th at 10 a.m. on an island five and a half miles southwest of South City. We'll be meeting up on that same island an hour earlier at 9. And don't show up unless you're ready to fight. We're not gonna babysit those unable to pull their own weight. Kakarot, you may be a Super Saiyan, but mark my words. I promise I'm going to put you in your place soon enough. Don't forget that the number one Saiyan here will always be me. <laughs> So I guess we'll see each other in three years, uh, where we said. Hey, don't show up unless you really feel you're ready. All right, we'd better get going. So, Piccolo, what do you say? Want to train with me and Gohan? I've been dying to fight you again. <laughs> sure, sounds good to me. Yay! <laughs> I get to train with Mr. Piccolo again! All right, see you guys soon, or in three years. Right. We're making a stop home first, right, Dad? Mom's been waiting for you. Oh, yeah, right. Guess I better get some FaceTime in with Chi-Chi, huh? Piccolo, is it okay with you if we do that? Fine, but don't waste too much of our time. been doing pretty good you had me so worried where have you been this past year and what's with those clothes and go on what are you doing in that outfit uh, yeah about that you know it's kind of a long story <laughs> train go on because you're gonna fight some robots in three years yeah that's okay right no that's not okay are you insane do you think i'm just gonna let you waltz in here and disrupt gohan's studies no uh, it's i'm not trying to do that it's just well the earth might be in big trouble about three years from now no i don't care what you say i'm not letting gohan train with you Hang on, wait. You're saying the fate of the Earth isn't as important as Gohan's studies are? Of course Gohan's studies are more important. Nothing's more important than that. What? You don't believe that, right? Come on. Let Gohan train with me. Ugh, fine. This is the absolute last time, you hear me? Chi-chi. But in three years, he's done with all this fighting. You got that? <sighs> Thanks, Chi-Chi. And sorry. So even Super Saiyans have their weaknesses. All right. Since that's settled, let's go train. Goku! Goku, can you hear me? Hey! I know that voice. It's Kami. Yep, 
Reading you loud and clear. How's it going? I'm glad to see you've made it back to Earth. I've been waiting for you. My apologies, but would you please come to my lookout? I must speak with you. Oh, really? Does it have to be now? I was getting ready to go train. What I have to say concerns everyone. Everyone? Uh-oh. Got it. Don't worry, I'll be right there, Kami. Good. I'll be waiting. You guys, I'm sorry. But there's been a change in plans. Looks like I gotta head to Kami's place. What do you think? Wanna come with me? Oh, Kami, huh? I have absolutely no desire to speak with him. Gotcha. Tell you what, why don't you guys go on ahead and train without me? R really? Uh, okay, Dad. So, uh, do you know where we're going? Don't need to. I can find you guys just fine. I'll just search for your energy. Are you sure? Go on, get going. Be sure to do your best with Piccolo until I get back, though, all right? Leave the kid to me. I'll whip him into shape. What? Uh... I wonder what's so important that Kami needs to interrupt my training. training. Hey, Kami, Mr. Popo. Long time no see. I've been waiting for you, Goku. Oh? What's up? Well... I have something to tell you about the Dragon Balls. Shenron under the weather or something? No, no. You see, uh, my life is nearing its end. Call it an old man's intuition. What? Ah, no need to dwell on the matter. It's simply a feeling. Uh, if you say so. But not all hunches come true, you know. Indeed. But should you have any wishes, let us err on the side of caution and act now. <sighs> Gotta think this through. Got it, Kami! Uh-oh. Better head on back now. Piccolo and the others. They're over there. Jirobi, what's up? Let me guess, you need help with something? <laughs> yeah, you guessed right. Yeah, what is it? Uh, Shinzu beans. Old Corrin's growing a new batch of them. They're still gonna need some fertilizer, though. So I thought that you might be up to the task of getting some. Me? Why don't you do it? Oh, uh, because, uh, because I'm busy. Doesn't look to me like you're doing anything. Y shut it! You and Krillin are probably gonna use most of the Sinzu beans anyway. So why not help a little? Do your part! Jeez! Hmm, I guess you have a point. Man, this guy's so easy. Th that's more like it. I'll tell you what you need to do. All right, then. Take a look. That's the fertilizer I need. It's in the sacred land of Corin. Made it easy for you. I marked where to find it on your map. See here? You'll find it all the way down at the bottom of this tower. All right, that should be enough info. You got it? Yep. See you later. Well, 
Corrin does help me out a bunch with his sensu beans, so I should help him. This is divine water, isn't it? Well, it's called that, but it's just normal water. I was supposed to take this from Corrin as part of my training. Man, that was tough. I wonder what Yajirobe does up here all day. Train, maybe? Nah, he doesn't look like he trains. does help me out a bunch with his sensu beans, so I should help him out once in a while. Might cause some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. But he's definitely good with a sword. I remember when I first met him. Cut that monster clean in two. I bet he'd make a really strong fighter if he actually trained. some trouble with this. All right! This apple looks extra juicy. This looks like a great apple. <laughs> we got a keeper. Hmm? Something's there. Want a tango? I'll take you on. why Yajirobe was reluctant to do this himself. Well, I can't complain. It's good exercise anyway. Check and check. This looks like it's it. I got what you wanted. Awesome, I knew you'd pull through, Goku. Just wait right there. Hey, Corrin, look, I got the stuff for you. You nincompoop. You can't pull one over on me. Goku's the one who got it. You're slower than a freaking sloth. Hey, where, weren't you sleeping? I was meditating, you idiot. All right, I've had it up to here with you. Let me teach you a thing or two. Your punishment will be very creative. Oh, come on, man. I appreciate the hard work, Goku. I'll split these sensu beans with you once they're ready. Thanks a million, Corrin. That took longer than I thought it would. I'd better hurry back to Piccolo and Gohan. Best to deal with this now. Oh, 
about that now what do you say we start out with training all right for starters i want the both of you to come at me both of us are you seriously that full of yourself go on i want to see you at your full power try and catch him off guard and overwhelm him okay let's see what you two can do don't hold back <laughs> That's enough, go on. You and I are strong, too. Not bad. That's more like it. Come on, go on. Keep at it. I will, Mr. Piccolo. Guess you didn't delay a return a year just to make an entrance. Hey, you guys are pretty good. I'm impressed. I knew you were strong. Stronger, go on. <laughs> you think so? <laughs> of course he has. Unlike other kids, he's already gone up against the likes of Vegeta and Frieza. Good point. Being here reminds me of when you first started training me, Mr. Piccolo. <laughs> you mean when you were a pathetic ball of tears? What? Oh, not that. 
<laughs> oh, okay. I'm starting to get it. So, this is where you guys trained when I was dead, huh? Yeah. Mr. Piccolo was super tough on me. I had no choice in the matter. He was useless to us back then, and I did what I had to do to fix him. Sorry to put you through that, Piccolo. Gohan's a lot stronger now, and it's all thanks to you. And who knows? If he keeps it up, there's no telling how strong he'll get. Might even get stronger than us. Stronger than you two? No way. He'd better. We're gonna be in real trouble if he doesn't. No kidding. And that's why I'm here to help you guys out. Let's show him how strong you can get in three years, Gohan. Y yeah. Speaking of everyone, I wonder what kind of training they're going through. Vegeta's most likely sticking to himself and off somewhere doing his own thing. Oh, don't worry about him. I'm sure Vegeta will be fine. <laughs> He trained in some sort of room where he had control over gravity. I need to access that room. That annoying woman's old man is the only one who could construct something like that. Where is he? Where is that damn geezer at? There he is. There you are. Yes? Can I help you? What is going on with that training room I asked you to build? Basic construction is complete. I just need a few more items for the finishing touches. Yeah, like what? There aren't a lot of things that can take a beating from you, you know? This thing has got to be durable. Let's cut to the chase. I finish your shopping and you finish the room, that right? That's right, you got it. Here's what I need you to get for me. And that about does it for the things I need. <laughs> you want me to get this, huh? You'll see, Kakarot. I'm going to push myself further than you and become a Super Saiyan. I'll do whatever it takes until I'm strong enough to beat Kakarot. Just any Super Saiyan. I'm going to become the ultimate Super Saiyan, whose power is far beyond yours. <laughs> There's one. Think of no greater humiliation than constantly being in your shadow, Kakarot. I'll do whatever it takes to become stronger. This should be worth eating. Ooh, I might keep that apple.
You a local on this rock? I got a business proposition for you. Give me what you got, and I might not kill you. Who the hell are you? Remnants of Frieza's pitiful army? Are you... Vegeta? W what are you doing here? Oh, I get it. With the Frieza Force gone, you've become a galactic highwayman, too. Sorry, but I got here first, and I ain't sharing with you. You caught me in a bad mood. That will be your final mistake. Die! Utter waste of my time. I got what you asked for. That better be all of it. Now that I have this, the room's as good as ready. Wait here. It's finished. Kakarot trained under 100 times gravity. So I'll have to triple that and train under 300 times gravity. Actually, I wouldn't do that if I were you. Assuming you weigh, say, about 175 or so pounds, that'd be approximately 18 tons of pressure. That's only three times what Kakarot did. There's no way I can't handle it. Vegeta is unbelievable. Training under 300 times gravity? Is he trying to kill himself? Damn it! Uh, Vegeta? What are you doing? Shut up, woman! Leave me be! Oh, you don't want my help? Suit yourself. Why? Why can't I reach his level? I... I am the Prince of the Saiyans! 
Sheesh. There's just no getting through to you, is there? You're insane! Have you been at it this whole time? <laughs> You're not going to make any progress if you keep this up. <laughs> Why don't you just ask Goku what he does to turn into a Super Saiyan? I'd die before I ask for that low-class loser's help! Yeah, then why don't you try dying? What did you say? I've prepared a special training partner for you in the simulator. Think you can beat them? Do you have any idea who you're talking to, you ridiculous woman? You're Vegeta, the almighty Saiyan Prince, right? <laughs> I guess that settles it then. Good luck! And one more thing. My name's Bulma, not woman. Think you can remember that? Do you know who you're talking to? Damn that woman! This place. This is the wasteland where I first fought Kakarot. Which means... But how? I'm fighting myself? What the hell? <laughs> Consider yourself lucky. A super elite like myself, wasting his time playing with scum like you. Damn, that blasted woman! What the hell is her problem? You're about to learn the hard way. Effort alone isn't enough to reach my level. myself for lagging behind Kakarot. Wow, I guess that wasn't enough of a challenge for you, huh? You... You really know how to piss me off! Oh, come on! I was just messing around with you! More! Huh? You're right, it wasn't enough. You're going to make me a stronger opponent! Uh, don't you take that tone with me! I'm going to get stronger, and use that strength to crush those androids! You have a problem with that, Bulma? Fine. You're a real pain, you know that? Wait... 
He just called me Bulma for the first time, didn't he? Kakarot, I will surpass you. Just wait. You'll realize that I'm number one. Hey, Chi Chi, we're back. Hi, Mom. Man, we really worked up a sweat today. Goku, do you have a second? Sure, Chi Chi, but can it wait? I'm starving. Don't you? I'm starving me. I got a bone to pick with you. <laughs> Why can't you act more like our neighbors and drive us to the store once in a while? But Chi-Chi, we don't have a car. And even if we did, I couldn't drive it. I don't have a license. You need to get a driver's license. You're the only one around here who still doesn't have something that basic. Piccolo doesn't have one either. What use would I have for that? Then you need to go to driver's ed. Think of it as training to become normal, everyday people. You're both obsessed with training, right? Then you can't say no. What? Why do I have to? I can see myself getting lost in a city this huge. Whoop. The next day. Now then, shall we begin the driving lesson? <laughs> if this is how it's going to be, then I'm all in. Listen up, Goku. Whether it's in battle or on the road, I'm not losing to you. All right, I get you. This is a different type of training. It's on, Piccolo. Um, there's no need to view this as a competition. Uh, are you all right? Oh, wow. 
Who are these guys? <laughs> One more time, Goku. Wait! I said wait! A license isn't some prize for bragging rights. It's to ensure that you can drive safely and responsibly. Like I care about that. I will not accept defeat from the likes of him. <laughs> I think I'm starting to get a hang of this whole driving thing, don't you? Let's go, Piccolo. Come on, let's do this thing. Uh, excuse me! With pleasure. <laughs> what? It's on, Goku. Oh, yeah, Piccolo? Hey, Chi Chi, we're back. Goku, so how'd it go? <laughs> Handled it like a complete pro. I beat Piccolo, no problem. <laughs> You what? I'm not exactly sure what you mean by that, but whatever. Did you get your license? Oh, actually, there's probably something you should know. I think the instructor was a little freaked out by how we drove. She told us she'd give us our licenses if we promised to never come back. <laughs> so... so you... you didn't actually pass the test? Well... well at least you got your license. Yep. Now we can buy a car and finally go on those family drives I've been dreaming about. Well, the thing is, they also said we'd have to pay for all the damages caused during the test. And I can't even guess how much that'd be. What? Uh, I'm not so good with money, so... I'll let you handle that. Thanks, Gigi. Y you Well... Now that that's done, let's get back to training. Yeah! Mom? Whoa, Chi Chi. You all right? I know it wasn't easy, but you finally got your license, Goku. I'm proud of you. Now all we need is a car. A car? Do we even have money for that kind of purchase? Well, not after paying back the city for all of the damages you caused when you were taking the test to get your driver's license. I'm counting on you to get us that car, Goku. Oh, right. I see. Sorry about that. Hey, uh, why don't... Why don't I ask Bulma? She's a whiz with machines. Cars are machines. Good idea! Bulma always has a solution up her sleeve. That's true. I guess I'll hit her up about it then. You do that. Oh, hey, Goku. What brings you here? Well, it's not a big deal, but I was hoping you could help me with a little problem. Uh, sure. What's up? Not sure if you heard, but Chi-Chi made me get a driver's license, which is fine, but the thing is, now she wants a car. Got an extra one lying around in those tiny capsules? <laughs> Doesn't that beat all? Earth's champion, now a licensed driver. <laughs> sure, I can get you a car. Seriously? You don't strike me as a responsible driver. Any normal car would turn to scrap with you behind the wheel. Find me the stuff I need, and I'll hook you up with an extra sturdy set of wheels. All right, then. So what do you think we need? It's all on this list. Be sure to refer to it when you're out scavenging so you don't forget anything. Oh, and one more thing. Leave all matters of maintenance and upgrades to me. Excellent! Thanks a lot, Bulma! Don't mention it. After all, happy wife, happy life! I'm home, Chi-Chi! Well, 
Did you get us a car? After I round up a bunch of materials, Bulma's gonna make one for us. Really? That's wonderful, Goku! Then you'd better get to finding those materials. I'm sure it'll be good training, too. I don't know if I'd go that far, but then again, you never know till you try. All right. What should I do today? Dad! Mom's calling for you! Really? Uh, okay. Hey, Piccolo, do you think you could take Gohan and train him for a while? At least until I can catch up. <laughs> Fine. Goku? I just got a call from Master Roshi. He said launch is back at Kame House. Oh, yeah? Talk about a blast from the past! So what's going on with her? I'm not sure, but he said she wanted to talk to you about something. But I've got training to do. Don't you dare be disrespectful to Master Roshi. Just head over there and hear them out. Oh... Yeah, you're right. Guess I'll make my way over there. Be careful! Well, better get going, I guess. and everyone are doing. Ah, there you are, Goku. Would you mind listening to what Launch has to say? Launch! It's been a while. Someone forget about you? What's up? What's up? I'll tell you what's up. Tien, all three eyes is back in the promised land. Uh, yeah. Something wrong? Being that he cheated death and all, I thought a visit was in order. Then why don't you just go? I did, but he wasn't home. I've been back time and time again with no luck. Apparently, the oaf's out traveling the world, training. Hasn't been back since. I ain't got the foggiest idea where he could be. That makes two of us. I don't know either. Ah, don't give me that. You can fly. Find him for me. Come on, I'm begging you. Hmm. What? You can sense energy, you dolt. Zeroing in on him should be a piece of cake. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. <laughs> Sorry to blank out on you there, Master Roshi. Let's see now. Hmm. Tien. Tien. All right, got him. Hey, he's near my house. What? You found him already? Yep, if that's all. Be in my merry... You idiot! I'm not ready yet! I wasn't expecting you to find him so fast. Seeing him requires, you know, preparation. Why don't you try to keep him busy till I'm done? Got it? I'll be quick. Sheesh! You try to be nice to people. Probably. Best to deal with this now. Goku, a rare pleasure. So, someone asked me to find you and... 
Let's just say she really, really, really wants to see you. That's so. I'm actually done training here. But it looks like I'll be on the move again soon. Seriously? That's a bummer. Can't you wait a little longer? Well, perhaps we can strike a deal. How's this sound? Let me test the results of my training. On you. Is that all? Shoot, I'd do that for free. <laughs> it's been far too long since we went toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Here I come! to amaze me likewise Tien you've gotten a lot stronger apparently not strong enough but learning that is a milestone in itself as promised I'll wait for this mystery guest through my sparring with you I discovered a few things I need to improve I think I'll train here for a little while longer do you mind go for it Tien thanks by the way who is it that wants to meet me Oh, crap! I left that part out. It's launch. Uh, oh, you have no idea how much that makes me want to get back to training. But a promise is a promise. Tell her she can find me here. You bet! Sure did. Listen up. So, just go to the place I told you about, and he'll be there waiting. Ah, uh, reunited at last. This has been a long time in the making. Thanks. Here, this is for you. I fixed some grub to take with me, but went a little overboard. You can have the leftovers. Thanks. 
You know me, I'd never turn down food. Hold on to your hat, Tien. I'm coming for you. If I can push myself just a little bit more, I should be able to turn into a Super Saiyan. I see you're hard at work as always, Vegeta. What do you want? I've made some slight modifications to the training room. Would you like to see what I came up with? Oh? Go on then. Show me what you've done. I knew you'd be interested. Come with me. She's a new researcher I've hired to help me work on the training room upgrade. Be nice to her, Vegeta. It's a pleasure to meet you. Fine. Allow me to explain the new feature to you. Interesting. I might have to give this thing a try now. We should have room for a few more upgrades, but we're a little short on power. If you find any large sources of energy, give them to my fellow researcher here, and she should be able to make the necessary improvements. Got it. How's your training going? Mind your own business. Well, don't overdo it. Though I'm sure someone as tough as you will be just fine. You've got that right. That should put Bulma's mind at ease then. Whoops, you didn't hear that from me. <laughs> just you wait, Kakarot. It won't be long until you're struggling to keep up with me. That took longer than I thought it would. I'd better hurry back to Piccolo and Gohan. Oh man, I bet everyone's stronger now that they've been training. what to expect with these androids but I really sorry ran into a few hitches <laughs> but I did manage to get in a good bit of training though I got to fight against the end <laughs> I figured as much luckily for us we took the liberty of starting without you <laughs> sorry about that how's the training coming along Goku We've done so much to prepare. Guess we're about to find out whether our training is sufficient enough to handle these androids. Right. Three years had passed, and the fated day of May 12th had finally come. All right, you three be careful out there. You sure you don't want to take some lunch? No, we're good, Mom. Thanks. Sorry, Chi-Chi. All right, we're off. Uh, it's probably nothing.
Hey, Goku, tell me the truth. These androids, do you think we have a chance against these guys? I honestly can't tell you if we do. I won't know until we actually fight them. Go on, take it easy, okay? Don't worry, we've got plenty of time. Don't use up all that power of yours before the fight even starts. Oh, sorry. 